Welcome to the Atwoods machine experiment. In this experiment, we'll be measuring the local acceleration due to gravity at Earth's surface and the frictional force exerted by the pulley. First, ensure the scale is calibrated and that it points to zero when nothing is on it. To determine the mass of the mass holder, place it on the triple beam balance pan. We know the mass holder weighs approximately 50 grams, so we only have to play with the last slider. Once you have it around 50 grams, you might have to adjust the finer slider to get it right on. As you can see, this is really close to balanced. If the second one doesn't match the first, add tape where appropriate. Add an additional 400 grams such that the two mass holders differ by 20 grams. After having loaded the masses, you'll need to decide who will be dropping them and who will be timing. Hold the lighter one down and release. Make sure to consider reaction time as appropriate. Add 5 grams to the heavier side and remove 5 grams from the lighter side such that the total mass difference increases by 10 grams. It's important to ensure that the total mass stays constant to avoid affecting the frictional coefficient. You'll also need to do this several times until you hit a mass difference of 60 grams. There are stations in the lab set up where you can measure reaction time. Here's how you do it. Open the reaction time file on the desktop. Hide the interface display window so that you can see the time display. Press start to arm data studio for recording. Have a friend drop the ball and as soon as you hear it land, press the trigger. That will display your reaction time. We hope you enjoy the Atwoods machine experiment, and just remember, friction's a drag.